our gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have this reminder again about looking to the Saviour. Look, look, look and live. There is life for our look at the crucified one. There is life at this moment for each one of us tonight. We just thank you that we have this wonderful way in which we can look to you for our salvation. We, we know that as Moses was lifted up, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, whoever looked on the serpent lived. And we just thank you, Lord, that um, Jesus died on the cross for our salvation. He was lifted up for all men to see. And if we acknowledge him as our Savior and our Lord, then we just have that eternal life in him. We just ask you, Lord, that you'll just meet us at our point of need tonight, that you'll just undertake for us in this service. We just ask you for your presence and your blessing to be upon our subject tonight. And we just give you all the praise and the glory for all that you have done for us in the Lord Jesus Christ. We just ask for your blessing to be upon us in this meeting tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. And Isaiah 55. Mm -hmm. My favourite, uh, might be my favourite chapter and my favourite book in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. So maybe just before you begin to read, uh, we just uh, have a little introduction. The big question is, have you ever been really thirsty? Have you ever been dehydrated? I'm sure there are times we have been. I think I have, you know, uh, been dehydrated uh, and need a, need a good drink of water, uh, maybe. So uh, have you ever seen a mirage? It's the most unusual thing, you know. I've been on the motorways are different and I've seen this big... A uh, pool of water ahead of me, and uh, I didn't know what it was going to be the first time ever I seen it to come up to it. It was quite startling. Hey, uh, uh, those who know, there's a terrible, isn't it, that uh, story we have, you know, of, of a man, a couple of men who were thirsty for wine. Uh, I don't know about the women uh, uh, and uh, all that, uh, but the people who are thirsty for wine, women or men, you know. And... Uh, when that gets a grip, and these these two men were thirsty for the drink, for the wine, the drink, and the and, and the cards, you know, that way. So thirsty for more of the wildlife is terrible, isn't it? To be playing the wild rover. So thank you, uh, and uh, last to read now. Isaiah fifty-five, verse one to thirteen. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Yes, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread, and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me, hear and your soul shall live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, the sure mercies of David. Indeed, I have given him as a witness to the people, a leader and a commander for the people. Surely you shall call a nation you do not know, and nations who do not know you shall run to you, because of the Lord your God and the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found, Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my, your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. 
for you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you, and all, the, all of the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. There ends the reading of God's word. <laughs> 